Okay. Now some uh, more basic requirements of all living things. All living things must um, keep on either living for a certain time and then it will die and life will end and before it dies it must if it wants to sustain its its population it must reproduce to maintain that population now when we say the life of an organism can be it can be, it can be as short as 20 minutes for example e coli um, has a lifespan of 20 minutes every 20 minutes it will keep on dividing and producing more cells whether it's a human that will have a lifespan of, for example, average age might be 90 years or so forth. Um, and reproduction is, uh, is an essential part for organisms to live again or pr produce its generation. Um, reproduction uh, takes place in, a, in a, some simple manner and some more complicated manner. The simplest manner, manner would be something like an asexual means of reproduction in which, for example, spores are released or budding of the yeast can be done. However, multicellular organisms um, usually reproduced after the union of a sperm and an egg. And once this, um, the first cell that is produced is called as the zygote, and the zygote <clears throat> which is um, a, a one, um, which is actually two cells that have united the first uh, fertilized cell, has to develop to um, to a more complex organism, and that will take place through certain um, distinct codes and distinct signals given to the zygote to develop into an to uh, an infant that needs to be born, or it could be an egg that needs to be hashed, and so forth. Now all the all these um, codes that are given for the cell to reproduce and to maintain population and to produce an identical copy. For example, in this picture, you can see the baby um, uh, penguin over here um, having the exact code is in the in the is in the DNA of that organism. DNA is the genetic information. It is the it is the blueprint of life. So we will spend a lot of time later on discussing DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribose nucleic acid. In short, we call it uh, DNA, and which is the um, which is the sequence of certain um, uh, uh, bases that are present which comprise uh, the blueprint of life and as I said we'll spend a whole entire chapter later on with, with that. Um, DNA um, in our cells for example if in, if in our cells a DNA uh, would be almost six feet long and that's a really long um, length and for it to fill in, fit, fit into a cell which is not even seen by a naked eye the DNA has to get condensed and the condensed form of DNA is called as the chromosome so often you will hear the term chromosomes and DNA so keep in mind chromosome is that um, condensed form of the strands of DNA So going on to more requirements of all living things, um, we, we will look at adaptation one more time. Adaptation is mainly making certain changes within the organism so that it can survive the, the, the condition that it is um, that it's uh, available to it. For example, in this picture over here, you can see a picture of the prickly pear. Prickly pear is, grow is growing in hot, dry conditions. For prickly pear to um, to lose less water and to survive a, a more um, a very dry condition, uh, it has a very succulent leaf form, and the thorns makes it um, easier for the plant to keep moisture within it. It reduces evaporation or transpiration of the leaves. So it's an it's a it's a modification that's done to it. To, um, to help it survive in that conditions. Um, for example, um, 
in in the Antarctic when the penguins are growing um, it's a very cold climate so the feathers of the penguin will be covered by very short and thick feathers that can form more of a water uh, proof coat and then layers of, uh, of fat will also keep the the birds warm in the cold in the cold weather so um, most organisms will have certain kind of modifications that are done and it will be sometimes over time and uh, some, some of these modifications are suitable to the organism and they seem to um, to keep that in that in their uh, species and it will be passed on to the next generation and so forth now this um, this um, this concept of adaptation is very important because this was developed um, by uh, by Darwin and we will study uh, the the process of evolution also later uh, the process of evolution um, is a process in which um, uh, descents are modified um, and actually the process is I should really take say say the process is actually um, natural selection and natural selection uh, is a process that over time certain species um, will survive an environmental change and within interbreeding of the individuals within that species the genetic change uh, will make them better suited to a particular environment and these members can then be expected to produce more surviving offspring and which will also have the more favorable characteristics in this way the typical characteristic of a species will change over time and uh, many and almost all living things uh, follow the path of natural selection and one of the examples that we even see today is for example uh, the, the evolution of the more resistant strand of uh, of um, staphylococcus aureus which is called as the MRSA which is which is the methyl resistant staphylococcus it's because over usage of um, antibiotics has created um, a, um, a species of staph aureus which is um, um, staph aureus is a bacteria that will resist those antibiotics and it it has evolved over time to do that now keep in mind we are going to spend a lot of time on evolution later on so I'm not going to take over too much time right now but we will get into it um, evolution um, is almost a basis for having a common ancestor to several species uh, as each, ad each adapted um, a species has adapted a certain set of environmental condition and specific adaptation will eventually increase the chances for survival and and thus a uh, flow and uh, thus will allow an organism to play a very important role in an ecosystem and uh, evolution is the res is is actually responsible for the great diversity that we see on life as of today so I'm going to this is the end of this first section over here and uh, we will go ahead and uh, keep on to the second part in a while also